It's so strange. It's so unnatural. But it shouldn't be. You were created with 100% faith. Adam. But once the fall came, the connection changed. And you lost the ability to just have the natural belief in God. It changed. Oh, I know it changed because when God created the world, he put everything in it. It was whole and it had seeds in it. Yeah, which means I'm giving you the whole thing and I'm going to give you the ability to reproduce it. But when high treason took place, yes, Satan became the God of this world, we signed the deed over to him, thorns and thistles came, the atmosphere changed. Mm -hmm. And the world changed. Everything about it changed. And the blessing went from a hole to a seed. Now, originally I would have had the hole and the seed in it. Now, is that rain? Yeah. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. I'm glad I'm singing this because it's going on YouTube. Let it rain. <laughs> Stay in church for a minute since it's raining. Yeah, cool. All right. so, I'm going to preach now. So, so what was I talking about? Seed and hope. Seed and hope. So here you have the whole lesson of seed. And now, those of this have showed up. Can I teach y'all a little bit? Those of this have showed up. Now the blessing is reversed to a curse. Yeah. Jesus came back as the second Adam. Yes, sir. Because the first one messed it up. When he did, he came to redeem us back to the original state. Yes, sir. In that, you have to start with the seed. Yeah. Even Jesus said, he related himself to a seed unless the seed fall in the ground and die. Oh. It cannot produce. So what does this mean? Faith is a seed. Yeah. And I'm not even talking about money right now, but you can apply to that. Faith is a seed. Which means, if you've got bad soil in the natural, you would be an idiot to take your seed in the natural and put it in bad soil. Right. But that's exactly what faith has to do. <laughs> okay? Your life is messed up. Anybody got a perfect life in you? No, not at all. Because if you do, I need to meet you, Jesus. <laughs> that means this rain is a rapture and I'm the only one leaving. <laughs> Or we even preach the right stuff, we all in trouble. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. I have to take a seed of faith and have a bad life and plant a seed in bad ground. Yeah. That's contrary. That sounds weird. I don't know. It sounds unbiblical, don't it? But it's true. But really, I'm not putting the seed in my knife. Right. Right. Because if I put the seed in my now, I'm going to get the same thing I got going on. Yes, yes, yes. Struggle, family problems, battles, come on somebody. But I take the seed and I plant it into my future. Right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This is where you have to have spiritual amnesia. Yeah. You got to be willing to forget the past. Yeah. There you go. Enjoy where you are now, but have a vision for where you're going. Amen. The more you can act like your future is now, the quicker you're going to get it. Listen, don't listen to yourself on Monday morning when you all leave here fired up because I'm about to holler like a crazy man. Don't, don't, don't leave here today all fired up and then tomorrow those voices start to, in fact, they're going to start tonight. They're going to try to talk you out of it. They're going to try to tell you why it can't work and it can't happen and that's for somebody else. No, it's for you. God is no respecter of persons. You just need a revelation about your future. And when God shows you where he's taking you, you don't have to put your seed in your mouth. You can put it in where you're going. And guess what? You can put your praise there too. Video. Grab, grab your neighbor and say, Nero. Oh, 